is asking you you have given an expression for the, the velocity here so you given a velocity here as a function of time so this is the velocity as a function of time and then you need to find it out the position as a function of time so you given the velocity and you just need to find it out the, the position how do you do that you remember and this requires a little bit of calc of the the calculus a very simple calculus so if you remember the velocity is dx over dt or for someone for those who are taking the the algebra based physics they might know that the velocity is the change in the position divided by the change in the time okay here i'm just going to use this equation here the velocity is given and I'm, i need to find it out the position so the way I do it is the dx is d times dt. I need to find the, the position. So I, I will just integrate both sides. v times t. Remember that v is not a constant here because this is a position dependent. So you cannot take this one out. Okay. So let's just, just do a simple math then. So when, when you integrate this one, this is the total position as a function of time. And then the velocity is 3 plus 4t squared, and this is dt. Okay? So just have to integrate this one. So this would be 3 times t plus 4t cubed over and then you have a constant here. So remember, so once you integrate x to the n dx is x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus a constant c. Okay? So this is what you have now. But you need to find the constant c. How do you find it out? So this is called the boundary condition, okay? So you're given all, all the information here. So what is given here, so when the time is zero, the position is x is equal to one meter. So when t equals to zero, so time t equals to zero, the position is one meter. So I'm just plugging in the, this equation. This would be one, and this is three times zero plus 4 0 q divided by 3 plus constant c so the c will be 1 meter c is 1 okay so i'm just plugging all it so i'm just plugging this c is equal to 1 into this equation so my final equation would be x as a function of time this is 3 times t plus 4tq over 3, 4tq over 3, and the c is 1, which 1, c is 1, and 4 over 3 is 1.33, so 3t plus 1.33tq plus 1, so this is your answer, so this would be the answer.